I'm here with the White's V3i today, which is a great metal detector, by the way, and I wanted to go over some of the effects of electrical interference and how to deal with that interference with some of the features on the V3i. Now, whether you're out hunting, you have power lines just um, around the street or overhead or, or what it might be, it, it can make this machine quite unstable and almost unusable, if not. Um, so I'm going to show you how to deal with some of that. And I'll just right now, I just simply have the um, coin and jewelry program uh, on, and I have the sensitivity um, levels maxed out. And as you can see and hear, we're having quite a bit of electrical interference when we are in the house. Um, but if you're out in the field and you have all that, there's no way you're going to be able to hunt, and you could have a great sight in a field that you're never going to be able to hunt it. Um, because it's just too much. Well, hopefully some of these adjustments that I'll show you um, can get your machine to calm down and um, you can get out to those great, great sites. Now the first thing that I would go to on here would be the, sen the sensitivity levels. Right now I have maxed out the RX gain at 15 and the disc at 100. We're gonna start off with the disc. We're gonna take that down to 75. We are hunting in all three um, frequencies right now and there's our preset level of 75 and just by doing that that quiets the machine down quite a bit we're going to go one step further we'll come over and we're going to lower our RX gain down to 7 now 15 is the max and 7 is the preset level and the v3i is plenty enough powerful machine that with the preset level of seven that's plenty of power especially if you're at a site that you have a lot of emi interference and you can't hunt it at all well, why not go in with something you know where you can hunt rather than not at all so, and seven is fine and you can see how much that calmed the machine down quite a bit one thing i want to show you real quick i don't know if it'll show it might show up right now i'm going to squeeze the pinpoint trigger and that's going to show all three frequencies and you can see where the electrical interference is coming in the most on what frequencies now down the bottom you have your uh oh what, what do we got there what's on the bottom 2.5 um frequency in the green and that seems to be the, the less the least amount affected um in the house here with electrical interference the other two the 7.5 and the 22.5 you can see they're lit up quite a bit and and pulsating quite a bit now the other option that you have to do if you can't get the machine to settle down with all three frequencies operating at the same time you can simply go over to transmit frequency enter that and scroll down to your 2.5 your 7.5 or your 22.5 frequencies and select the, the one that was least amount affected um, by the electrical interference and you could just choose to hunt single frequency and that's one more option that you have to um, get around the interference and being able to hunt the site and right there we have nothing minimal amounts of EMI That'd be great. We'd be able to ground bounce and go hunting. Um, now, one thing that you could do, uh, because let's go back to our sensitivity. And like we said, we, we lowered our RX gain down to 7. You could try jacking that up a little bit until you start getting that interference again. Look at that, single frequency, you'd actually jack that up all the way. Um, I'm surprised we're in the house and it's quite a bit of interference, I would think, in here. But um, that's great that you would be able to, you know, may possibly um, try turning the RX gain up once you go back to single frequency. But if you want to hunt all three, I like all three frequencies. Say you get a little bit more depth um, by hunting single frequency. However, I like the target identification um, a little bit better. Let's go back into three frequencies. And one thing you could do 
to jack that up and work to get to come in again. Uh, sensitivity. Here we are again, you're getting all that electrical interference. So one thing I wanted to go over real quick was you, you also have the option of going back in the transmits frequency. And you have all three frequencies running now. Over here far to the right you have the offset option. And what you could do there is you can go in, I always do the negative numbers first, and we have a little bit of interference. Let's see what happens if we drop that down, down one. Sometimes it gets better, sometimes it gets worse. And what you want to do is you want to select the one where you're getting the least amount of interference. Five being the max on down and up. And you're not really going to be able to do this because we got to lower our sensitivity level some. Let's go back over here. Going to sensitivity, we're going to knock, we're going to knock this down to 12, and we're going to go over to our disc, and we're going to lower that down to 80. That puts us 5 above preset, and the machine's pretty stable. We're in three frequencies. You can still see the electrical interference. Um, that's not horrific. If it was maxed out and they were seriously pulsating, um, you would have quite a bit, you would have a hard time uh, detecting. However, that, that's not too bad. Now what you could do, again, I want to show you, is on that offset. Now see, negative one, we're back to a problem. Negative two, quite a bit. Three, calm down a little. Four is not good. Five's not too bad. That's there. Let's bring that back up to zero. Plus one. Nope. So what you want to do is you want to utilize that offset feature in the transmit frequency and find the one, the level, that has the least amount of interference for where you're hunting. And that'll help you quite a bit. And a combination of using that feature, uh, the choice of single frequency over all three features, the sensitivity levels, um, you should be able to get your machine to operate pretty smoothly. I have been in one area where I, there was nothing I could do. It was close to an Amtrak train area, and for some reason we just couldn't get any machines at all. Uh, we just couldn't hunt the property. It was a shame. It, it had major potential. Um, but as you can see, just by lowering our sensitivity levels, our transmit frequencies, our offset, um, you can stabilize the machine. Now, the other options you also have um, is coil selection. Now, the stock coil on the V3i, 10-inch double D, it does have its uh, likings to electrical interference. Uh, great in mineralization. However, it does attract uh, electrical interference. Um, not that it can't be used, um, but there are you have optional coils. One coil that I will definitely suggest is the uh, the 13 inch Ultimate Double D White uh, D Tech coil. Um, fantastic coil, and I have been able to run the sensitivity levels maxed out all three frequencies. Um, very stable coil, great depth, great target separation. Um, great combination, combination and option for the V3i. Um, on top of that, uh, the Eclipse 950 coil. Concentric coil um, instead of the double D, different design. Um, however, it will help you, with, help you out with the effects of um, electrical interference um, quite a bit. Also, I highly suggest the coil uh, for hunting the beaches and um, things of that nature. Great coil also. Uh, you do have the 4x6 and the 6x10 double D um, coils um, that are also available to uh, 
to use on that and they would probably still help you out um, to some extent however these coils here um, the 13 inch and the 950 coil should easily do the job for you I definitely suggest them um, but hopefully that'll uh, that'll help you out some uh, one thing I will point out is because you do lower the sensitivity level some and you're if you are concerned that oh, I'm not gonna get the depth of you know I'm giving up too much power which you're really not um, what you could do is you could choose to go into uh, the main menu screen go over to sensitivity enter it and you could elect TX boost and at your lower level now with your um, RX gain set lower you can sometimes pick some of that depth loss or transmit power loss uh, whatever you want to call it there um, you can pick some of that back up and um, get some of that depth uh, back if you're concerned with that that should help you out with some if you have a problem and it's uh, it begins falsing again just simply uh, go back into your menu turn off TX boost and um, and you should be up and ready to roll but that's a uh, couple of ways to deal with uh, EMI and hopefully that'll help you out some and get you out there and hunt those spots that you're uh, maybe having a hard time in and um, okay good luck have a great day